Hey guys, so today we are going to learn how to exit a function in Python. So real real simple, but there might be things you, you if, if you, if you're looking up this or you're searching for this, it, it's probably going to be useful. So we're going to do a, a real quick, super simple video on this. And um, we're, we're also going to, uh, you know, maybe there are going to be some aspects of this you never thought of or you didn't know about. So hopefully, you know, even if you know how to do this, this is useful. If not, you know, you might want to just skip past this video and go to the next one. So um, anyways, so uh, let's talk about this. I'm going to show you in this terminal over here on the left. But uh, um, I'm, we're going to talk about this document, this quick little write-up I have on the right side here. You want to find this, this page on the right, uh, just check the link in the description. But um, anyway, so what I put in my guide here, basically, um, you know, if you have an actual value you want to return, basically, um, when, when you want to exit a function, um, you, you can call return, and anytime you call return, it's going to exit the function, right? Now, um, you can specify a value you, that you want to have returned when you exit the function, or you can specify no value at all. So, um, like, like for example, here, if you say return four, it's going to return um, a value of four to whatever called the function. And if you call, you know, and we're, we're going to show you a quick demo of this in just a minute. But um, if you say return none, it's going to return no value. It's going to just return nothing. If you also just say return and don't specify anything, that's also going to return nothing. Um, but it's going to exit the, the function for you if you want to get out of the function. So you want to get out of a function and don't care to return anything, just say return with no parameters. You could also specify none explicitly, but there's no point in doing that. Anyways, um, we have a couple examples of how you can return different values from different parts of a function. So let's create a quick test script just to show you how you might do that. So vi test.py, let's call this test1. All right, so let, let's put like this test function in here and we're, we're gonna have to remember to call this function also. So paste this function in here. So function is called test one and we're going to say, um, we're, we're, we're gonna say x equals test one, test one. And let, let's pass it a value. All right, so if it's, greater than 50 or less than, all right, so let, let's say if we, uh, let, let, let's say if we say uh, 25, right? We're, we're gonna pass the value 25 to this. Um, <clears throat> now, let, let's see here. We are going to, let, we're just gonna print this out, print X, just to show you the value that was returned. So what, the, what this is gonna do, and um, essentially, you, we have our function definition right here, and then we call our function here, and then we print out the returned value here, right? Um, so def test one, that's our function. Our function is test one. It accepts one parameter. Now that's x. Now um, it has an if elif uh, statement here. So if that parameter x is bigger than 50, it's gonna return a string called big telling us that it's big right and calling return once it, if it's over 50 it's going to call return it exits the function right here now um elif so um else if it's not bigger than 50 but it is smaller than 10 it's going to return small so it exits the function right there and returns a string called small now if none of these two are true basically if it's between 50 and 10 um any value between those, it's going to return medium, which it then this is this also it exits the function here. Now you'll notice there's no this is going to be the default if neither of these two cases are true. So <clears throat> in no case does this reach a in no case does this just reach the end of the function and just exit. It's always going to exit um, by uh, by hitting a return statement. Um, so and it's always going to return either big, small, or medium. Right, so here we call our function, we pass a value of 25, which we're expecting to return a value of me medium. So it's gonna store in this uh, variable x. You know, let's, let's just give this a different variable name just so it's not confusing. Let's call this y. I mean, it doesn't matter because this, this variable is in the scope of the function and this variable is not in the scope of the function, but just to not confuse people, let's just make this y. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna print out the value that was returned. So let's run this script real quick. And um, there, 
There we go, medium, just as we expected. Now, uh, let's say if we make that 55, there we go, it's big. Um, you know, just for completeness sake, let's uh, make this all a two, right? Now it's gonna return small. There we go, small. So that, that's our test. Um, now, let, let's, give, let's use a different function, right? Now, slightly different, um, slightly different example here, but let's paste in this other function. Now, you'll you'll notice this one has an if elif statement. It's it's basically the exact same thing as the other function that we tested. Um, I probably could have just removed that last line rather than pasting this whole new thing in here. Essentially, it does the same thing except it has no default return value. So that's interesting. So let's see how this behaves. So run run our script, it says small, and that's because we passed it a value of two. Now if we pass it a value over 50, it's gonna say big. But what if we pass it something in between? What's it, what's gonna happen? So we, we, have, uh, we have our, you know, if it's over 50, it returns big. If it's under 10, it returns small. If it's in between, neither of these two are true, and it's gonna hit the end of the function and return by default. What's going to get returned? Let, let's find out. So we're passing a value of 25. Let's say Python 3 test 1. And it returns a value of none. Exactly what we would expect it to do by default. So if you don't have any return value, it just returns none. Alright, so let's make it a simpler example here. And um, yeah, I apologize for the background noise in this video. Um, anyways... Let's say if we just have a function that does uh, it does nothing, pass, you know, to do nothing, just to throw some random things in here that don't do anything. X equals X, X equals five plus five um, times X. All right, just, just, just some random thing in here. No, no, no significance of this. Now we pass a variable of X to this. Um, and we basically do nothing. We don't, we're not returning any values. Um, we're not doing anything in this function. It's gonna hit the end and just return by default. It's gonna give us nothing, no matter what value we pass to it. So run this again, returns a value of none, okay? Now, if we wanted, we could say return none, okay? So right here, our exact same value getting returned, right? Now, we, we, we could say, um, all right, we could remove this at the beginning, we could put something that says print debug, just so we see where, where the flow of control is running. And notice it says debug, and then it returns none and prints out what was returned, right? So what if you put, you can have two return values, just paste one up here, right? Um, and now it returns before it even has a chance to print out debug. So it, it actually, we called return here at the beginning and it just exits the function right away and returns, returning no a value of none. Now uh, that that's how you can exit a function early. Now you could put some logic in there like if it's over you know, a certain value, just return and skip the rest of the function. Just like we did with this other example, if it's over 50, just return, but it tells us a value. You didn't have to give a value, you could just say return and, you know, return none, right? So, like, if you, uh, we've already seen how this behaves, but you could just return nothing by default. Same exact behavior, right? So, not too exciting there. We, you can see how you can return or return none. It, it basically does the same thing. Um, you could return a value of five if you wanted. And there we go, return a value. So basically that's it. There's not a whole lot else to cover with this. This is basically just how you exit a function. If you wanna, if a function is gonna exit by itself when it hits the end of, uh, of the function, but if you want it to exit earlier on based on logic or based on whatever, for whatever reason you want, you can have it exit anywhere you want just by calling return. If you don't care what it returns, just say return with no, no value specified. If you want it to return a value, just specify the value. And that's all there really is to it. So it's super ridiculously simple. Um, but hopefully this helps someone or clarifies things for someone. 
Um, if you like this video or found it useful, give me a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down below if you know something I don't know, or if you, if you have any quick uh, questions, criticisms, comments, whatever you want to say, I want to hear it. So leave a, do leave a comment down below. Um, you might want to hit the subscribe button because we have a lot more interesting comment, content. We're going to do a lot of simple coding stuff and a lot of more complicated coding stuff. And we're going to do a lot of server related content, electronics, uh, 3D printers, Raspberry Pis, um, hardware, software, all sorts of really interesting tech stuff. So you're going to want to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you get alerted when we come out with a new video. Otherwise, you'd have no idea a new video was released probably. So, um, yep. As always, thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time.